Hi guys, and welcome back to a pretty quiet episode of Unto 2 again, where today you join me on a very silent grey cold wall. I've turned the settings down because when you're round here, the sea does your pain, also the lag does your turn. Um, so yeah, we are driving today, service E1, that's the Island Explorer, the um, clockwise loop, because we haven't driven that way around the island there yet. We're going to drive it in this bus, so what we'll do is we'll turn our settings back on now, Prepare to have a very massive headache. Yes, very, very loud. So yeah. For any of you who are wondering, this is a JX7767 model. And for those of you who um, collect all the buses, um, and for those of you who look on his Facebook page, will know that he quite recently, um, the group quite recently, released a few of the buses that are incomplete and this was one of them the um, 301 to 314 series i think it is the issue with this is it does have a front dark and the front area is quite nice but the issue is is passengers will jump out where the middle door used to be on those buses that are around here area so we'll just move around to stand I love, I love this like Leylands, I love these Leylands because they have just, they just seem a bit older in size. So I know that for a fact we're not going to fill up with all the passengers, that is not going to happen. I do severely apologise as usual about the lag. So yeah. Pull in and just select our schedules. Um. Let me just... So we're going to do the one that's basically the 45. So we'll just put E1 and we will put E1 to make any difference on this Island Explorer. There we one. Our destination will change. Um, oh, the passenger... The passenger wants to jump on our bus today. Yay! So he's going to jump on the bus. Hello, sir. Last time I drove this, no one wanted to get on the bus. That's like the first time someone's jumped on the bus. I'm driving this. Come on. Oh, hop it on. Oh, there we go. Right, right. I need to put my signage on as well. So set off now. E1 and bus stepper. So anyway, we'll be able to challenge my skills of driving a full. Um, 12 metre um, triaxle bus on the tight narrow roads of Great Colquart. What could possibly go wrong? It's just we haven't been up this part yet, we've been up the 320 and the 319 route. The 319 that goes really basically through the middle of the map, middle of the island, and the 320 goes to the east um, coast. So we turned, we went straight forwards out of the um, bus station area and that turns right, well, so that's where we're going to come from is the right eventually when we've been around the whole island so if you guys want I'll drive service E2 we'll have to see, it depends on if if you've seen the route with like this because there's no need to do the other way around but tell me what you think in the comments so yeah go, go mad <laughs> so yeah um. Thank you guys for all of you who commented on the previous videos and that I've done on Great Call Cross. I got some like quite good response. Everybody liked the videos and that were good. I think people enjoyed watching those. Um, so yeah. Um, so that was fantastic was that. And these days I am a very very lucky YouTuber because I get a lot of comments that are just great video and good video and this and that and for you guys those like kind of comments you know when you just type them up i'm not that much that you know because you just enjoyed it but for me they mean like an absolute ton i'm just gonna pull over here and show you guys something um but they do mean a ton to me so this is the island depot with this, this is where all the operations come from and we're going to take a screenshot because why not? So yeah this is the depot, this spot, I'll show you guys. Let's begin, continue. So yeah, um, thanks guys for all of you who do comment, do you know, in, like video, every video, it really really does mean a lot. I always love 
housekeeping, dinner, hearing your suggestions, your ideas, your thoughts on the video. Because to know what's nice is to know because sometimes with games like OMSI, because OMSI isn't like as well publicised game, it's not as big as most other like big games out there. It's not really much noticed and if you're one of these people like I know I am where I'm like the only one um, in my like area that does play on say and you feel a bit like on your own because you're the only person who plays on in your area and you feel like no one else plays and no one else shares that kind of same thing um, but then you get other then you get like when you create a YouTube channel you feel that other people start commenting and like your stuff and that makes you feel like a bit more that there's other people out there who play the same game as you who find the same stuff interesting it's just it's really really nice it really is so i do thank you all very very much for that for all of you who comment subscribe and like We've got like 292 subscribers, uh, I always say it, I know, I, I always say it in videos, but it's phenomenal, it gets, it's just, it's something that for me, I never would have expected, also I know my driving not the best in this video, but I'm speeding around the corners because I don't like great cold court if I've got the driving space then I'll use it, so yeah, I know that the driving is not the best this episode, but yeah. I do apologise for those of you who um, like me driving to be good, but we've only got one person on the bus, um, so yeah, I'm going to try my best. I think my driving's improved since the last few videos, had a couple of people commenting about that, but I think it has definitely improved in the last few videos. It just depends on how awake I am, and depends on my driving skills basically. I think one of the things that I like with these updated models that have come out is that they only have a front door, they don't have a rear door um, or a middle door, it just makes them feel a bit better in a way. Well that's Almond Park is that, we'll just have a little look and see what that is. So I think these little areas are really nice on the map. So that looks, I just like how it just looks really picturesque. It really does, I'll let him off at the next bus stop. So as you can see, he, he's standing in the seats. That basically um, goes onto the thing of um, JX7767's coverage of the um, thing that the buses haven't been finished. And probably, just like me, you're wondering why there's a massive sheep in front there. I'm going to pull over, let this passenger off. And this is going to jump off, just like they always do. So yeah, let's have a little look at what this is. So what's it called? Sharp is World of Wool. Rare Breeds, Petting Farm, Wool Shop, Coffee. <laughs> coffee Shop. Coffee. Yay, well done, you can spell. Coffee. Coffee Shop. Coffee. Shop. Um, adventure Playground, Mini Squad Bikes and Toilets for Baby Change. Nice to know. And it's on the Scottish Terrace Board. Oh, oh no, my, my game's died. Broken it. It's because of that giant shape. And these are actual 3D things, not just the 2D flat ones that you can get in places. I think we should set up now. There's a hog and everybody up. Probably, unless anybody else decides to brave the bus. And then I think that might be our only passenger that's what I've noticed with this map but I think it's really realistic because on these kind of maps you wouldn't get a ton of people and I think that just adds to realism because if you had a full load like a full hundred seat to load on this kind of map it just would you would lose that realism so I think it's quite nice oh I've just spotted something I think, it, I think it's quite nice how they've kept it oh wow I thought that was actually a Land Rover it looks like a good Land Rover from when I passed it and then it was just just a Toyota. Moving on. <laughs> Apologies if I keep like stopping to look at things on the route, but I don't know. I know when I usually watch other people's videos and there's other different maps, sometimes I like looking at different areas. I just like to look at different areas that they show 
in, and look at them in detail. So that's why I do that. I do that for the benefit of me to have a look and for the benefit benefit of you guys. So yeah, hopefully. So for those of you who just want me to get along with the boot, I do apologise, but I do enjoy looking at stuff. So this is a um, really weird place name to um, announce. So we got. Oh, is this? Are we not there yet? Is this a different place? I'm thinking. Is this the one before? I don't know, I've never driven this route before. On the way, where, where, we are here. We're on the right one. I'm thinking of the right place. Yep, we're here. So this is... Oh, there's an actual person getting on the bus. Oh my gosh. What is wrong today? This is... X... Etchil Ferran. Etchifil... Etchifil... Etchiferan Cross. Etchiferan Cross. Mm -hmm. I think that was one of the best um, pronunciations of that I've ever heard. Saying that I haven't heard anybody pr pronounce that. So let's see what time we're supposed to be here. See if we're on time. Oh, I've got a big timetable. Etchiferan Cross, 55, um, 51. So I'll just speed up the time. No, no one else. Okay, then fight. <laughs> We're out of here. It annoys me with these buses that you can't get like the numbers to work on them. That that does really annoy me. Because I really would like the numbers to work on these. But there's nothing I can do. I could get the road lines working, but I'm just I've tried working with road lines before. I can do them, but it's just a bit of a painstaking annoying task. Especially with massive hoff hoff files where you've got to um, be adding different ones after different one after different one and they just get a bit repetitive and boring so I tried making um, Newcastle blinds for the Dennis Dragon 11 meter the new old first bus one that's got the like um, I can't remember the name of it it's got the scrolling scrolling destinations and I tried creating that and after about like the N99, all the interesting ones disappeared. It got pretty boring. So. So that's a beach. Terangura. Um, t I, I can't read that. I'm going to have to stop now because I didn't, didn't read that. Uh, Tiang Tianga Beach. So Tianga Beach. I just like, I don't know what it is, but I think the front of this bus looks really good and I think this livery really suits the, like, boats. I don't know why I think that, but I just think it really does. At least the lights work. Yay. <laughs> I know with the, um, release it wasn't just this, it was about, like, ten other buses that are basically half and half in a way because they can be used as work in progress. And then they can also be used you know to like work in progress as in to build on or they can be used to just drive now I'm just using them to drive but there are a couple in there that still need work on them to make them drivable in OMSA some of them that don't load up properly so but there's about like 10-15 buses that you can download or I think around 10 I don't think 15 I think it's around like 6 or 7 8, 9, 10 or something like that I just end up counting up all the numbers so I better just stop there Oh, this is nice. I think something, in like my opinion, I think that ruins um, the like map style are the bus stops. Now, what the original creator of the map did is um, they had areas where there were no bus stop flags, but, the, but there were like little areas where people would wait. And that'd be like an island style because I know an island you wouldn't have loads of bus stops, you'd just have areas where people would just automatically wait. Now I think one of the things that they've done when they've been converting it that for me is a bit unrealistic is one, they've got rid of these stock Clyde bus stops, so it's a bit disappointing to be honest because I think the stock Clyde bus stops are quite good with this map because I think they just add that sort of realism to it and make it feel like you are in the Scottish Isles. I know that. I used to use those bus stop flags in a few of me, like work in progress maps that never got released. But they are very nice um, flags to use. Oh, we're going to another holiday village. 
the uh, Sunny Sands Holiday Village. Ooh, free Wi-Fi, showers, games lounge, provision store, and laundry room. A warm welcome awaits. I think these signs are really good. I really do. Really, really good. I want mine to be in one of those caravans because you've got the road right in front of you with like a bus, with two buses going past every hour. So I really want mine to be there if I were them. Because it is good having the beach, but then you don't want the main road in front of you. But yeah, I've, I've totally, I've gone off subject now and I've forgotten what I was saying and I can't remember what I was saying. It's, it's gone now. Oh yeah, the bus stop flags. Got it back. Come back. Yeah, I think Mark just used it and then the second reason is they have added the new bus stop flags in the areas where there weren't bus stop flags originally. They just, for me, in a way, just kills the atmosphere um, of being in the Scottish Isles because you wouldn't have brand new bus stops everywhere. You'd have a little, like an old bus stop that wouldn't have the name in it. But I don't know. It's, tell me what you guys think in the comments. It's like this. Like, I know that prop, I know that the driving's not the best, but yeah, <laughs> leaning best. But yeah, I don't think that they'd have bus stop flags here, they might, um, you know, on the original map, but in these kind of places, I wouldn't expect bus stop flags, I'd just expect people waiting, and I just think it just ruins it slightly. Oh, it ruins it for me slightly, but tell me what you think in the comments. Not bus, whatever. Whatever you think in the comments, go ahead and let me know. Oh yay! Oh my gosh, there's another boss! Ah. Ooh. I'm gonna stop him. He's a B90. Yeah. Hello! He's, he's not talking to me, is he? He's, he's just like... Like that kind of ignorant basis to say, get out of my way right now. But the only problem is with the... I'll let him go now. The only problem is with the B9s and um, B9TLs is it's the same with all of the AD156 conversions. It's the same all round. The issue that faces them is that when they create their destinations and they have absolutely fantastic destinations and I wouldn't trade them for the world for those buses but they don't show up on AI do the destinations you have to like go and click on the vehicle for the destinations to show up that then means passengers to board so if you don't do that then the destination doesn't show up um, and the passengers don't board so that's the only issue, and I wish they'd be able to fix that. But, they haven't done. But we'll have to see, you never know, there might be like an update in the, B in the B9 full release. It's just I've only got the beta. Also, um, I recommend checking out the, I'm not sure if it's just a Facebook page, but check out the Aussie X B9TL page, because there were some new screenshots released quite recently of some of the repaints that are going to be available. So check those out, they look pretty neat, pretty good. So I recommend checking those out. Oh, someone wants to get up here. This is a um, place where the 320 turns around. I would usually say I wish to rectify the problem with the middle door, but I can't because the whole point of him releasing this the whole point of them releasing this as it is is because they're not going to be working on it anymore so we've got call cork slip cork. i can't say any of these names i don't know what it is today but i just can't no no one else no one else no okay then off we go bye So it was called court, great call court, or call court slip, is what the name was, I think, probably. <laughs> I think we'll just give up on that before we begin. It's a term of expression for that. 
I've heard this before we recorded this um, several times on the map. I drove it mainly for the full route of the 319 that it caught quite well. I cut the curve a couple of times, but that's quite understandable because it it's a very it's much tighter roads and junctions than this one is, so that's pretty understandable. I also found a shortcut way into Mayport from the bus depot that I might show you guys. What we might do is we might drive like the return journey on the 319 and see how that goes oh, there we go, cut the curve do the return journey on the 319 on, yeah, from Mirror Park to eh, that place um, we'll probably do that and I'll drive from Depot as well I think the seat cushions are nice as well they could be like a little I, I want to say brighter but then at the same time I want to say like, I think this pattern I don't know how to phrase it. Swiss, I think this needs to be a bit more spread out. I think... I don't know. I don't know. It looks like an optical illusion in a way. That might be it. I know you're probably over thinking in your head why doesn't it concentrate on driving. But if I concentrate on driving then it gets boring. And I just... I like when I'm making videos, I like to make videos how I like to watch videos, if that makes sense. He's going to start moving now. So, if I like watching, because I like watching videos where they look around the bus, as well as um, just going inside the bus. I like videos where they look around the scenery, take screenshots. So, those kind of videos. So yeah, I, I just go on with that idea. Also, um, while I remember, um, something totally different now. Um, I'm also hopefully soon going to be starting a new OMSI news series. I'm just compiling a couple of stuff together. Um, a couple of news threads and things that I've seen around um, to show you guys. Um, like a couple of work in progresses from ages ago that I want to showcase. A couple of work in progresses that not many people know about and work in progresses that are happening now as well as the latest release buses so that's going to be coming in your new left path on the news and um, going to be available soon on um, to ETS to a mark soon I'm also trying to get some good music as well to go with it some um, because I know that in the I know that there's other OMSI users and I've been looking at the site they get their music from because I like the kind of style of that kind of music so if you want to hear what kind of style I like um, then I recommend checking out other obviously news videos because there's basically around like two other YouTubers that make obviously news threads videos I know I shouldn't have done that but it was driving me a bit potty um, yeah and they they have like there's like PT simulation and about OMSI and they do some really good um I need to put my song back up. They do some really good um, music tracks with their um news threads as well as providing some very, very good information. So I definitely recommend checking that out if you're one of these people who's not like me, who um like doesn't know all the sites because I've I've been around an OMSI for nearly a year now. And I've gathered, I've scanned around, I've spent like hours and hours just scanning around just looking for um, hidden sites and that's where I find all the new buses. So if you're not one of these that looks around and finds all these sites or doesn't get that time and just wants to, when they go onto the internet, wants to just download buses straight away or wants to find out what's in work in progress um, but like doesn't know where to look then I recommend checking out those other OMSI news videos as well as my own that are going to be coming out soon because I'm going to be providing you with the information about um, other, about buses, maps and everything left path OMSI that will be released um, or is still in work in progress so yeah so check those out soon I am compiling it together not as I speak because I've been lying because I'm recording a video as I speak, I can't multitask. 
um, because I, I don't know how I'd be able to drive, play music, add files all at the same time. I, I think, oh, oh, writing. I think that'd be a bit much for me. Ooh, keep clear on this from random grass. So, when I've got some spare time, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to park a bus just in the keep clear zone, just to be that kind of person, just to be that guy that just has all the space to park his car or bus or truck but decides to park it in the place that you're not supposed to yeah it's gonna be me also just as like a little um teaser in a way i've got um a new car to show you guys it's not it's one of the ai cars that i've found out not found but downloaded another map and it's given me an ability to drive so i'm gonna be showing you that soon that's the um Volks wagging golf so I look forward to that video coming around soon I'll probably like review it on here so yeah probably we will have to see so I know I'm not like the best driver um, and I know that there definitely could be some points where I improve but it's like with me I like having a mix of um, driving properly to not annoy the passengers as well as um, as well as making a video fast because I don't like these videos that go really slow and as well as just driving normally and just having a bit of fun because like there's no passengers on that that's why I'm driving a bit faster than I was before because there's no passengers on the bus But yeah, it's, this is like my, my kind of style and I think after being around on YouTube for about six months now I need to have a look at how long it is, um, I think it's around six months I have like grown to my own kind of style of driving and recording and things And I think to be honest this style is probably going to stay unless something really really impactful happens This style is going to stay with this channel probably I don't know I'm really not good with this kind of stuff talking about that kind of stuff because usually everything after I'd say that everything would change yeah but I do think I think this I think this is I want to say this is the last video but I don't because I do want to bring a couple of other video, up, up, couple of other videos out of this um, but it's just a matter of I've got a couple of other maps that are upcoming like I know that the person on Faving Favingham has just announced that he's starting to package up the files that's basically going to mean that it's hopefully going to be released within the next few days so that's going to be upcoming on the channel and that's going to be something that's going to I'm going to definitely do at least a video, maybe two, probably two, on that, so expect that to come. So we have got a busy schedule coming ahead of us, a couple of new maps um, being announced, released, worked on, so yeah, um, that's basically, and we're back where we started, so yeah, um, I'm just going to take a little... I think I'll take a screenshot like that and then what we'll do is we'll get a good screenshot like that and then good we should have used this screen to take some good screenshots while we were moving I'm not driving the whole route again you know <laughs> it's not happening so yeah um, that was basically um, route E1 and I think E2 as well so yeah, this video has been around half an hour. That's roughly how long it's supposed to take to drive the route. So yeah, um, thanks guys for watching. Please do like and subscribe. If you want questions, suggestion, suggestion or need to download, don't hesitate to ask. And I can't speak today. And thanks again for watching. And I do hope to see you in the next video I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.